worse to me now. He's not responsive. All he does is circle, bump into things, get himself stuck in corners, and then he went ahead and had another seizure. Yeah. What does worry me is that in a short period of time, he's getting substantially worse. Yeah. My concern is really about his quality of life. They told me the one thing that nobody wants to hear, which is he's going to live a horrible life in pain. It would be completely selfish of me to keep him alive just so that I can see him. So I, of course, it's the one thing that I don't want to hear is that I don't have a choice but to put my dog to sleep. All of this is kind of coming down that I have to put him to sleep. Do we just want to consider what he looks like now and consider his quality of life where he is right now? And do we want to think about putting him to sleep because of that? I'd rather just go, I guess, talk to my mom for a minute and uh, call back. Yeah, just call back and ask to have the case. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're welcome. Obviously, it's a severe epilepsy or a brain tumor, and if it is severe epilepsy because his liver is so bad that there's not a lot that she can do that's gonna let him live a good quality of life. So I asked her, like, so what you're saying pretty much is that he has to be put to sleep. She's like, well, it's something that you should really consider because he's not gonna live very well, and if he does, this is I know. I'm sorry. My mom and I have been able to have conversations like that to where I've been able to truthfully break down and her be so sweet towards me. I'm sorry. She calms me down and tells me that it'll, like a mom should, that it'll be fine. Just being a mom, you always want to take your children's pain for them. Just come out of the house. You know, they say tragedy brings people closer, and um, that's the case with this family. You know, we're not always the huggy, huggy, I love you kind of family, but when tragedy strikes, you know, we pull together. Um, wasn't as comfortable having my mom and my sister go and not because I don't lean on them I lean on them for everything but it's just the way that the situation was so I asked my friend to come with me to the scene to go do it all right well I'll be you thank you you can call me there's nothing I can say to make her feel better and I just hate you know, singer like that, and I can't even imagine who is one of my dogs. So uh, it breaks my heart. Like it really breaks my heart.